Let's dive into our top focus at this hour. Flares illuminated the night sky over Gaza Strip on Tuesday night into Wednesday as Israel continues its war against Hamas. A month into the war, Israel's military says it is fighting in the depths of Gaza City after encircling the northern part of the besieged Palestinian enclave. The war is the deadliest of five Gaza wars for both sides. Israel said its forces were operating in the heart of Gaza City one month after Hamas's bloody October 7th attacks as a campaign to crush the Palestinian militants intensifies. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a stark warning to Hezbollah in Lebanon, which, like Hamas, is backed by Iran. Netanyahu also said there would be no fuel delivered to Gaza and no ceasefire unless more than 240 hostages seized by the Palestinian militants are freed. תקפנו מטרות רבות של חיזבאללה, חיסלנו מחבלים רבים. ואני שב ואומר, אם חיזבאללה יבחר להיכנס למלחמה, אם חיזבאללה יבחר להיכנס למלחמה, הוא יעשה את טעות חייו. Israel fell silent briefly on Tuesday, marking one month since the deadly Hamas attacks plunge into war. Sobs pierced memorial ceremonies and crowds lit candles while mourning the 1400 dead. The victims include families slain in their homes and young people killed at a music festival in the nation's worst attack since its 1948 founding. The Israeli military says they have found more than 750 rocket-propelled grenades and more than 400 explosive belts after the October 7th Hamas attack. The Israeli Defense Forces also released a video set to show strikes on Hamas targets near the hospital. The hunt is on for Hamas militants in tunnels. Israel is organizing showings for media around the world of a film depicting Hamas's massacre, assembling raw footage sourced from victims and perpetrate, perpetrators alike. The harrowing 44-minute montage has already been shown at the UN in New York and Geneva, in Washington, Berlin, Brussels, Madrid and the Chilean capital, Santiago. Israel's efforts to circulate the film come amid growing criticism from rights groups and even unease among Western allies over the scale of its bombing campaign in Gaza. Washington said it opposed a new long-term occupation of Gaza by Israel. Israel withdrew from the territory which it captured in the 1967 Six-Day War in 2005. Israel has airdropped leaflets and sent texts ordering civilians in northern Gaza to flee south. However, on Saturday, a U.S. official stated at least 350,000 civilians remained in the worst-hit areas. The suffering in Gaza has been immense. Entire city blocks have been wiped out, leveled. Bodies in white shrouds are piling up outside hospitals. Surgeons are operating on bloodied floors by the light of only phones. The World Health Organization said an average of 160 children are killed every day in Gaza due to the war. The International Committee of the Red Cross demanded an end to the horrific suffering of civilians, especially children, decrying a moral failing. Military analysts are warning of weeks of grueling house-to-house -house fighting ahead in Gaza. They say Hamas has had 15 years to prepare a dense defense in depth that integrates subterranean, ground-level and above-ground fortifications. The operation is hugely complicated for Israel. Hostages, including very young children and frail elderly people, are believed to be held inside a tunnel network spanning hundreds of kilometers. Israeli authorities have named more than 300 soldiers and at least 50 cops killed in Gaza. Quoting the head of Hamas's political bureau in Beirut, the Times stated, there are several ideas being discussed over possible agreement concerning hostages. The ideas include ceasefires of five days or of seven days, fuel to the south and the issue of fuel to the north. Tuesday was the fifth day that Gaza's sole crossing, not controlled by Israel, has opened in the past week to wounded Palestinians, foreigners and Palestinian dual nationals. At least 96 trucks carrying aid were transferred to Gaza via the Rafah crossing today. Netanyahu told an American media outlet on Monday that the war would continue until Israel had restored the overall control of Gaza. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken, after a West Asia tour of crisis diplomacy, was in Tokyo on Tuesday for a meeting of G7 foreign ministers set to seek a common line on Gaza. In the occupied West Bank on Sunday, he suggested the Palestinian Authority under President Mahmoud Abbas should retake control. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.